Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to the latest uh, weekly anime news for the week ending March 12th, 2023. We do have some weird news this week because we are getting some new Naruto anime. Okay. Oh. Oh. Well, you could, well, like, oh well. like, like original Naruto. We're getting new episodes of that. Are they carved into Mount Rushmore? <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I'm seeing in that image. Just, just waiting. Uh, no, that's a, that is a thing from the show, actually. Yeah, uh, the yeah. Hokage. The Hokage. Yeah, uh, Hokage. Yeah. Um, there are four brand new episodes airing this September celebrating, get this, everyone, Naruto's 20th anniversary. Well, they got the website up yeah. now. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. They have a website, so now they can actually show some of the anime. Um, this wow. is the, the anniversary of the Naruto TV anime, which started in, you know, uh, actually October 2002. So it's a little uh, beyond that. Um, they're going to start rerunning uh, earlier episodes of the Naruto anime. Um, Studio Piro actually streamed a Road to Naruto, like 10 minute uh, short film, which is basically a, a montage of, of Naruto uh, through the ages. Wow. Which is kind of nuts. Um, 20 years of Naruto in 10 minutes, basically. Um, they showed that. Uh, That's really all ago. you need, honestly. Well, and they, there's also new animation footage in there. Like they, they reworked some sequences, which is kind of cool. Oh, oh dang. That's neat. Uh, it's and uh, it's been 20 years. 20 oh, years. Gosh. Yeah. So this is not Jeez. set to Lincoln Park. I'll be okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, this is one of the images that they, they created uh, to sort of celebrate uh, the, the, the Boruto official Twitter account created to kind of celebrate the. Uh, the uh, the 20th anniversary. So, uh, yep, it's been around for a while. It is a thing. A generation of children have grown up, and that's mm -hmm. all there has been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are adults who have only ever who've lived in a post Naruto world. It's kind of crazy, crazy to think. Yeah. Um, but I mean, I will say, if you're going to celebrate the 20th anniversary of a franchise, making new episodes is something that came out 20 years ago is kind of a cool way of doing it. Well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Disney Plus Japan is working on a live action anime hybrid. Mm -hmm. So they announced this thing um, a little while ago, and this is just the first that came across kind of my transom. Um, it is Disney Plus Japan's first live action production. Uh, it's called The Dragons of Wonder Hatch, which sounds so much like a, you know, UK cartoon for like 10 year olds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You should have some marmalade with your biscuits. Yay. Let's go explore the castle, shan't we? Oh, it'd be lovely. I'll crochet you some wing covers for your dragon wing. Oh, thank you. Next time on Dragons of One Dash. Um, production IG is working on the anime. Wow. So it's going to be pretty good. Um, and there's Kenjiro Suda. Oh, ah. just the voice alone that's got me. It just the premise is interesting too, but he's in it, so yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, first character mentioned actually in the article, um, and then you know, various dragons and other characters involved. So, um, yeah, you can check out the sizzle reel on YouTube as you might expect. Um, the production company is the one that worked on the Roni Kenshin live action films, so that is also mm -hmm. a very good sign, okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, curious winter 2023 when that is coming out. Cool. Um, do either of you have Disney Plus? I do. No, John, would this be enough to make you switch over? It might be one of those. Is it completed? Watch, drop, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sign up, drop it. Yep, <laughs> subscribe for the month. Place. Yep, I hear that exactly. Yeah, that would probably be my 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 view. You know. Yeah, I know. there's not much else on really on Disney Plus that I think I would mm. be totally into. I'm not I'm yeah. not inclined to get into the Mandalorian at the moment, so I mm -hmm. don't think I'd get into that. So Yeah. It's too bad because that is a really good show. I know, I've heard, yeah, but yeah, I hear got too much anime to finish watching. I can't watch <laughs> exactly. other things. What are yes. you talking about? What do you mean? There's only so much anime in the world. Yeah. So, yes, there is yeah. so much anime in the world. <laughs> Well, while we're waiting for that to come out, we can learn some stuff. Uh, Shueisha is coming up with a new sort of one-shot magazine. Uh, it's an educational magazine. Huh. Um, yeah. It's called Bentame Jump, <clears throat> uh, which sort of squeezes together the words for um, study and entertainment. 
And it's basically they've gotten various mangaka together to do educational, like one shot manga for this. Um, so the author of Dr. Stone is doing Mysteries of the Body. Um, oh. The author of Beelzebub is doing Secrets of the Pyramids with a very <laughs> educational <laughs> Egyptian girl. Yeah, uh -huh. education. That. Yeah, I'm seeing uh -huh. that. Yeah, very uh -huh. much so. Definitely. It's important um, to know things about parts. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm surprised that isn't Mysteries of the Body, but still. Oh, um, just wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the author of We Never Learn is doing uh, Simple Recipes. Um, oh, cool. And uh, the author of Haikyuu is doing something called Dog and English. So I'm assuming it's sort of, uh, you know, here's a dog doing things. Here's the English of that. Something like that. I don't know. Or here's translating dog into English. Yeah, it could, could be. Possibly. Um, so we'll see. But kind of a neat idea, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'll be curious to see how it is. And mm -hmm. wh what was the shortened name of it? Because it's basically edutainment, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Ben Tame, Ben Kyo, and Entertainment. So Interesting. Ben Entertainment, sort of. Interesting. Yeah. So it is, yeah. it's 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 our edutainment done yeah. in Japan style. Yeah, that's exactly. Okay. Yeah, very, very very cool. Lots of things to learn about Egypt. Um, <laughs> pyramids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there, there, there are two pyramids here. Uh, moving on to some <laughs> normal anime news. Um, Suzume has opened in South Korea. Oh, um, God, it's a beautiful picture. And opened at number one. Um, 143,000 tickets, earning over a million dollars on its first day. Wow. Damn. When's it opening here? When? when? Yeah, yeah, I know. As uh, Please. Uh, well, that's not the, the rest of the, the, uh, all the story, though. Uh, the first Slam Dunk movie is also in South Korea. It's at number two. And the Demon Slayer Swordsmith Village movie is at number four. Wow. What? So the South Demon Slayer's not dominant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> How's that possible? Uh, yeah, so it's kind of crazy. Well, the first slam dunk film, which to be clear, is not the first slam dunk film. It's just the film called The First Slam Dunk. Uh, is now the highest selling anime film of all time in South Korea. Oh, damn. Yeah. So it is bringing in the cash. Nice. So, nice taking a look. Growth. Yeah, take a look at this image that that's up on the screen here, mm -hmm. and knowing what this movie is about, IMAX. Yeah, that would be. That would be mm -hmm. Yeah, please. Yes. Oh um, yeah, that's not going to happen in my direction. But it, I, I'm just yeah. hoping for a theater, <laughs> just a theater. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to look up the the numbers here. Um, let's see here. Uh, Slam Dunk um, has earned eighty-five million dollars so far um, on eight million tickets. Wow! So it, it is it wow, is doing yeah. well. It is the thirty-first highest earning film of all time in Japan. Slam Dunk. Wow. Mm -hmm. So for some reason, it's just it's working. Um, it uh, it uh, outsold Evangelion 3.0, 1.0. So, dang. Well, so slam Dunk <laughs> is, is hitting all the right uh, buttons mm -hmm. for everyone. Yeah, so, you know. Uh, also this week, a few things we just kind of want to note in passing. Um, to Your Eternity is getting a third season already. Yeah. I haven't even finished the first one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like um, episode four of the first one. I'm just like, this is so, it's such a journey. I don't know if I can emotionally get there for this. It, I mean, it's good. It's really yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, it, but it's like you say, John, it's just like a slog. I'm just like going, oh, God, I'm going to cry. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely um, one where you have to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah. And now there's going to be a third season. It's like, I need to be yeah. in the right place for a long period <laughs> of time. <laughs> <and it's done. laughs> Um, well, there are 17 volumes of that out so far. Wow. Yeah. So I guess they're just like, yeah, let's just do it. Let's go for it. Keep cranking it. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Um, also in uh, manga news, uh, expect more Bochi the Rock. Um, there are Ooh, now there are now nice. two million copies of the manga in circulation. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, there's a, a, a big call for a, a they did a big reprint. Um, to be clear, that is the number of copies they have printed, not sold. Um, but uh, yeah, um, this is a five-volume manga, by the way. 
So that is a lot of issues that are a lot of volumes that are out there that people are, mm-hmm. are going for. So uh, if the manga did that well, hopefully we will see something more. Although I don't know what, since presumably they've adapted the entire manga now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping it's they're still cranking out the manga as fast as they can, I hope, right? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, is it still ongoing? I honestly don't know. I hope so because I mean, it's gonna be. What are you gonna do the season two if you don't have like a really good deep chunk of manga to yeah. work through? You just sort of make it up as you go along. You're like, oh, please don't do that. It started in 2017. Well, that was FMA. Mm, mm-hmm. They made it up as they went along. The first one, the first anime series, they didn't. They didn't base it. They didn't finish. It wasn't finished. Yeah, that and and Naruto, I think. Uh, yeah. They oh, yeah, Naruto. That, I mean, yeah, all, yeah, yeah. All, all the shonens. Yeah, yeah. But FMA was is like the the Brotherhood is actually what the manga is, and mm. the first one was not the one mm-hmm. the manga was. Yeah, and they're two completely different stories. Mm. And here, I'm going to be decisive and go, not Brotherhood, but the first one anime <laughs> was better. Oh, now, now watch the rage. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, the manga is ongoing. Right. At five right. volumes. So who knows? Um, right so now somebody's mean? somebody's manga editor is going, yeah. make more, <laughs> yeah, more. Yeah. So They're literally so standing deal. over the desk of the manga car right now. And, and, and somebody and another person with a little mirror with lines on it going, Go ahead. It's, it's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Keep going. Go ahead. Are you familiar with amphetamines? You're not. Just take this then. <laughs> well, it's okay. You might not blink for a couple days, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Just exactly. keep drawing. <laughs> Just keep drawing. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm expecting we're going to see more of that um, at some point. That's all the news for this week. Thank you all for watching. See you next week. <laughs>